Oh, trying to get the car in a straight line as he keeps his foot planted. Now, there's Martin Brundle in car number 22, the Ferrari, gorgeous Ferrari. And then the very little scene, Maserati 151, right behind it now with Derek Hill. Where is he going to make his move? He's always faster as he comes down towards the Mary's. Half a minute until the pit window opens. So there's Derek Hill in the white Maserati chasing Martin Brundle in the red Ferrari. They're coming up against the back marker. Hopefully they'll pass in between here and Lavant Corner, but sliding with more speed out of the corner is Derek Hill in the white Maserati with a chopped off tail and those two stripes down its middle. Up to Lavant, who's not close enough to make a move, but maybe going down towards Woodcut. We will see a move from the Maserati. He's been quick pretty yes. much everywhere around the track. The Ferrari is smoky, and it's a classic Ferrari versus Maserati battle. On to the Lavent straight with that devilish kink in the middle. They've got uh, Greg Witten's number 23, the 64 shaped uh, Ferrari GTO up ahead of them. You can compare and contrast. Well, they've made a very short uh, work of passing him. The pit lane is now open. And uh, to see who's first in. But, uh, Derek Hill flicks to the inside. Not going to uh, get past Martin Brundle quite so easily. The number 12 Cobra still plop. Uh, Props up the field. Leader through past us. A 139.5. New fastest lap. Two race leader. Kenny Brack, 139.505. Brundle and Hill absolutely locked in combat, both in the 40s. Brundle with the best sector three of the entire race. He's rather being pushed that, isn't he? Derek Hill right under his tail in the Maserati. And Hill jostling up, trying to get the nose of the Maserati up ahead of the Ferrari, but he can't quite make it. We've got Mass and Chiva running absolutely together in the white Cobras, then Manassian, then Oliver. Bright cars, dark sky is the story of the day. That rear shot looking back from Fordwater towards St Mary's, you can see the black clouds behind me. Martin Brundle, two car lengths clear in the gorgeous Ferrari, but he's slightly slow coming out of St Mary's. And again, the Maserati is faster as they go into the dip. He won't be close enough, but a couple of laps running. I don't think Brundle has the confidence in the grip of that Ferrari. I think Mark Hales, who's driven it rather more often, uh, will relish the opportunity getting aboard. There's Christian Horner in the Tom Alexander uh, Aston Martin, number five, going out into the race. That's the first driver change. Compulsory driver uh, change in this race. Still bright skies at one end of the uh, circuit and uh, very dark and foreboding at the other. And still just under 28 minutes, this 45 minute race remaining. So I think we will be seeing rain during the course of the sure remainder of this event. Very, very good lap for uh, Martin Brundle and snaking again out of the chicane. This time the other way, fishtailing the Maserati. Yeah, between those two, just 0.47 of a second. It's a magnificent battle. And up the inside into Magic, uh, Derek Hill forges the nose of the Maserati, doesn't quite have the momentum again. And Martin Brundle almost <laughs> bump drafting in NASCAR. It's absolutely fantastic without the bumping. Yes, now I think the thing that's going to sort them is when they hit traffic and where they hit traffic. And when they hit weather. At weather, absolutely. Whether they hit weather, well, they will hit weather. Just half a car length behind as they come across the back marker. The rain is now and coming, coming down. down in torrents, yeah. Number 12 is about to go off the circuit in front of them. He runs four wheels onto the grass, keeps out of the way. But uh, Martin Brundle, as you can see, it's much darker here than it shows on the screen. Now you can see the rain on the screen. Those windscreen wipers blazing away. The lead from first to car 25, Kenny Brack, is 10 seconds back to Brundle, and then therefore about 10.5 seconds back to the Maserati. Might be a Derek very good Hill. time for a lot of drivers to stop. Oh, got back. Oh, so close. Number two just staying ahead of Eddie Cheever. That was Jochen Mass. They so nearly touched at St Mary's. The drivers are coming here. They would have noticed it's raining and the track is much slipperier. So they've got to really think about where they might like to throw the anchors out the window. Brian Rebens just thundered past us in the hairy canary, the yellow Dynaglaze of Hawaii. AC Cobra, Bill Bridges. Brundle touched the grass down at uh, Woodcut Corner. He's still got the Maserati behind him, but it's only inches now between the two of them. The two Italian stallions on a charge. Hill's pitting, is he? No, just using the pit. They've got pit the Aston Martin lane. project car ahead of them. They fly past that. Times have gone down by about five seconds. 
Yep, they were lapping in the 139s, they're now in the 44s and 43s. So and the left, Derek right. Hill set the best first uh, sector of the entire race prior to the rain coming down as he got round the back towards Fordwater. Here comes Martin Brundle. Wow, hitting the puddles are already sitting on the inside of the track off the racing line. So that's interesting as uh, Martin Brundle hits them, throws up some spray on the run from Madwick down to Fordwater. Now they're coming down the hill, a car to pass. Side by Which side. side are going to pass it? I think Derek Hill's going to go around the outside of the Aston Martin Zagato. Can he make it sink? Yes, he has. Bravery. Unbelievable. But can he get the car around St Mary's? He's taken a wider line coming in. He got a bit sideways coming out. Martin Brundle has more momentum down the hill. And whoever's out, is it Matthew Draper in the... Uh, Car 91, I'm just trying to see. Yes, it could have been. He had to just hope they'd completed that manoeuvre before they got to the corner, before St Mary's. Look, the car's getting sideways under acceleration now. Very Absolutely wet. Absolutely sublime, that move. Derek Hill round the outside on the kink before St Mary's. Brundle went up the inside of, uh, of Matthew Draper. Hill round the outside. Hill now safe.